Hey guys, it's been a while since I last played Sylvana, so now is a good time to play her because a new skin for her has just been released and it's actually free for everyone as long as you maintain a good credit score. In this one, I'll be playing her as the jungler, so I'll go for more magic damage since I gotta do most of the damage. However, our S3 wasn't too happy with that decision, so in order to convince him and make him trust me a little bit, I had no choice but to show him some win rates and hopefully that will help me gain his trust a little bit. But as you saw from the intro, he's the one who will have a change of heart once I start doing pretty okay. Since they have Hanzo and Hylos, I didn't want to bother trying to take the lethal. They should have no issue taking it at all, so I might as well start with the blue first and farm faster this way. But then I saw something that I haven't seen in a while. Our Ceylon is actually trying to steal the red buff from the jungler. I mean, even epic players should know by now. That's absolutely naughty, but not in a good way. I was double checking to see if Silong is actually using Retribution, but now I just noticed that Irritel and him are a duo. Interesting. I'm not even level 4 yet because I've been sharing experience with Ceylon while clearing the jungle. If only I had my old sad face. You are doomed to perish. You peace, I can't solo the turtle because the enemies might show up, so might as well go to where my tank is and see if we can make some plays. Since they just took the turtle, that means we can gain some gold from the turret shield without the risk of getting ganked. I don't have my ult at the moment, so forcing a fight right now will be foolish. I'm paying retreat, but unfortunately Kufra missed the Q. Pan around the map to check where Hanzo's real body is. I was only gonna ult Hanzo, but once I saw Hylos approaching me, I quickly adjusted my ult. They are free farming top, but I cannot kill them by myself, especially when my ult is on cooldown. So I decided to farm some crits first until I get some assistance to gang them. At this moment, 
I actually tried to dash away, but I missed. XT. Anyway, even though I'm doing pretty decent, our silence are getting completely screwed, especially the bottom lane. Balmon has been free farming and getting extremely fed. I need to farm as fast as possible, we are falling way behind. They keep taking the turtle for free and many of our turret as well. If I want to make a comeback, I need to get a lot stronger. If we could kill Balmon who has been free farming, this will improve our situation quite a bit. It seems like whenever we manage to get some kills, we lose a lot more in return. This getting more and more interesting. Just waiting for my all to become available. I just saw them using all their ult, we should fight them again and win easily. Finally we got the opportunity to take the turtle. Even though the score is even, we still haven't managed to destroy a single turret yet. They still have a huge goal advantage over us. Enzo is so greedy for one kill, if you are the core, you don't want to trade one for one. The dynamic duo. XT
just what you saw earlier in the video, but even he knows what is happening right now. I have 100% kill participation, that means that if I'm not involved, we will not get a single kill. Just hiding until I get my all again. Oof, this is gonna be a long game. I will use the minion as a stepping stone for my first skill and then dash towards the aurora. Great, at least I forced her to use Flicker. That's 2 minutes without it, while my ult only has 25 seconds cooldown. This whole fight is a complete mess. We lost Irithel right away. Kufra misses Flicker ult. Gore is ulting the minions. And I go interrupted. This was absolutely naughty. Defend is a priority right now, I gotta make sure I don't do anything reckless and die. Well, I messed up. Tanks are too OP right now. Without his old. Enzo is probably the most vulnerable assassin in the game.
Here, I will just ult him to stop his movement, but I will step back right away so I don't get hit by the turret. What a game this was. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and liking the video.